Hey everyone, this is Aditi and welcome to Adelicious. With Diwali around, the most difficult task is to think what to gift your loved ones. So today I'm going to be showing you these easy red velvet cake jars would which would be a perfect gift this Diwali. All the ingredients and quantities would be listed down below in the description box. So let's get started with our cake layer first. So in a sifter goes in some all purpose flour, some cocoa powder, some baking soda and some salt. Sift it all together till all the lumps and bumps are removed. And now in a separate bowl let's mix our wet ingredients. I'm considering sugar as my wet ingredient. So with the sugar goes in the buttermilk, the oil and a splash of vanilla extract and then give it all a good mix till everything is nicely mixed through. Now to give the cake that gorgeous red color, I'm adding some red gel paste color. I don't like to use liquid coloring in this. I like gel based colors. Give it a good mix and now that our dry and wet ingredients are ready, it's time to pour in the wet ingredients into our dry ingredients in two addition. Add half of the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and whisk it. Then pour in the remaining wet ingredients into the batter and give it a good whisk till everything is nicely mixed and you have a smooth batter like this. Before adding my vinegar to my cake batter, I'll make sure by my 9 by 13 inch baking pan is greased and lined with parchment paper at the bottom. Once that is done, add the vinegar to the cake mix and mix the vinegar in the batter till it's nicely mixed through. Once that is done, pour the batter into your prepared cake pan making sure you don't leave any of that goodness behind. Spread it around with your spatula till the mixture is evenly distributed throughout the cake pan. Swirl it around and then give it a good tap on the bench to remove any excess air bubbles. Now it's time to bake it in a 180 degree Celsius preheated oven for about 15 minutes. You know it's done when a skewer inserted in the center comes out clean like this. Leave it in the pan to cool for 10 minutes and after that Run a knife around the sides of the pan to release the cake from the sides. Flip it onto a tray and then flip it back onto a cooling rack. Cover it with a clean tea cloth and let it cool completely. Now to give my cake jars that extra festive touch, I'm gonna add a 2D dia on top for which I'm gonna need some fondant. So roll out some red fondant to about 1 by 16 inch thickness. Cut it into two. And using this plastic stencil, I'm going to add some detailing on my dia. You can skip this step if you don't have a stencil. You can easily find this at any cake decorating shop. Put the stencil on top of the fondant, roll it a little so that it sticks to the fondant. And then using some edible gold dust and a dry brush, paint on the gold dust onto the fondant. And when you peel off the stencil, the beautiful design is revealed. And then using some round cutters, I'm going to cut the shape of the dia like this. First using the big cutter and then using the small cutters to create the curved edge of my dia. Just make sure the size of the dia you make is not bigger than the mouth of your cake jar. Once that is done, to make the flame of a dia, I'm going to roll out some yellow fondant and using this leaf cutter which I have, if you don't have it, use an exacto knife, cut out the flame. Since it's a little bigger than my dia, I'm going to cut out using the same leaf cutter, I'm going to cut out a smaller flame like this, round off the edges and repeat the same with the orange fondant to make the inner flame, trim it to make it a little smaller, round off the edges and then stick it to your yellow flame. You can use a little bit of water if needed, then stick the flame to the dia and finish it off with a small white pearl like this and this is how the dia looks like. Keep it aside to dry a little. Let's make some simple syrup to soak our cakes with. To water add sugar and give it a good mix till all the sugar is dissolved. Once dissolved, keep it aside until used. Now that our cake is cool, trim the top and the bottom to remove any of those brown bits. Now on to the fun part, the assembling of the cake jar. I'm using these glass jar. These are 8 ounces jar that I'm using today. And some of my less sweet buttercream, the recipe for this would be in the description box below. Place the buttercream into a piping bag fitted with a star tip nozzle. And then using a round cookie cutter, cut out circles from your cake. The size of the cutter should be the size of the base of your cake jar. Put it inside the cake jar. And then using some simple syrup, soak your cake less so that the cake remains nice and moist. And then pipe on some of the buttercream onto the cake layer. 
making sure we pipe a little away from the edges so that when we add on our second cake layer the filling squishes out and forms a perfect round like this then add in the soaking syrup again pipe on the filling and add your last layer and secure it in place and then add in the simple syrup again and for your final layer of frosting this time pipe the buttercream on the entire surface of the cake then add in your fondant dia and close the jar this is how you make cake jars isn't it so easy do the same for however many jars you need if you don't want to bother making with the dia then you can add some sprinkle like this even those look so beautiful to dress up my cake jars a little more i'm going to use some ribbon some paper doily a marker and a car and some craft paper cut out tags from the craft paper to personalize your cake jars draw any trap pattern you want and write any message you want i'm going to write happy diwali punch out a hole in your tag and then put the paper doily on top of the cake jar and secure it with a ribbon place your tag in the ribbon and then tie a beautiful bow to finish off your cake jar once done this is how they look and they're so pretty they'll be a perfect gift for anyone homemade gifts are a perfect way to express your love to your family and friends and show them that you care anybody would be happy to receive these beautiful cake jars i hope you give this one a try and if you do don't forget to share a picture on my social media which would be listed down below in the description box and if you still haven't subscribed click that subscribe button right away for more easy and delicious recipes until next time bye bye